<laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a K-pop hack and today we will be unboxing Yuju's record, I believe. The top track is play, but I do have both versions of her album here and we will be going through both of those today. Before we get into the albums, I do have the pre-order posters that you got from K-Town for you. And I love this one. I did get them folded. I do kind of regret that now because this picture is beautiful. But this is the first one for the blue version of the album. And then we have this one for the red version album. And this is definitely my favorite, one of my favorite teaser picks. Um, this was like my dream outfit when I was in high school. Those were the pre-order posters. And then K-Town For You did do a fan sign event. Um, I actually ordered my copies of the albums before they released those details but I did still get the pre-order cards. So this is the first one I got, a pink background. And then for the second one, I got this yellow background. I'm gonna try and keep our inclusions up there but I don't know if that'll work. I changed mind. So we will start with the red version of her album. I haven't seen any unboxings for this, so I don't know if the photo books are going to end up being the same. Um, I'm really hoping not. I've noticed a lot of companies have started to do that, though. Miku, come on. Do you want the plastic? Do you want the plastic? Okay, get the plastic. Okay, so we have the first version of the album. This is the red version. So we have the slipcase, which we will take off and set to the side. And then we have the photo book and the, I'm assuming the CD home. So we'll start with this. Okay, so yes, there is the disc. There's a lot of inclusion, so we'll set that to the side. And let's see what all we have in here. So first up is what looks like a plane, like a chess board. So yes, there's the chess board on the back. And then on the front, we have this teaser picture again. It almost looks like you could set it up like that, but I think it's just a chess board, like a, a game board with um, the teaser picture on the background. Then we have this, which looks like it is a lyric book. It's got the track list on the front and then an English translation of one of the play lyrics. Okay, so yes, yeah, so it is just a lyric book fold out so we have one teaser picture there and then another teaser picture on the back and then everything else is the lyrics some commentary and her thanks to section fold that back up all right then we have the red version of the dice so or the die you can pop this out and fold it and it will form a dice. And then we have the red version game pieces. So two queens, it looks like. All right, so those are actually some pretty neat inclusions. I can't think of another group that I've seen do something similar, but we will put these back in here with the disc. It also explains why the album was so thick because it's quite a lot of things inside of it. 
Okay, let me find the photo card. I saw it. I don't, okay, so it's literally right in like the front of the album. So we have the photo book. Miku's going to help us with this. Like I said, this is definitely my favorite version, concept teacher-wise, I think. Okay, so we have all the scenes. So I'm, I'm thinking that the photo books are probably going to be the same since they're laid out in scenes, which is kind of a downer, but this photo shoot is gorgeous. Like I said, this was definitely my favorite of the concept teasers the like big poofy dress with the bomber jacket this was my aesthetic that i wanted in high school okay so she shot this at the same like abandoned amusement park that dreamcatcher used for because i love the dreamcatcher g-friend that is a gorgeous shot wow Yes, yeah, so Yuju was my bias in G-Friend. I unfortunately waited too long to start collecting their albums like with so many other groups. And I was a big fan of their title tracks, but not as big a fan as the B-sides. So I do have all of their songs. I just don't have the physical albums. I was really upset by the disbandment like I know a lot of buddies were. It was just really out of the, like, out of the blue and out of nowhere. <laughs> But I'm really happy to see that all the girls are continuing and loving what they're doing. I'm really excited that Yuju has gone solo and I do plan to fully collect her works going forward. Okay, so this is my second favorite concept. I love this shot. I love this photo shoot. I'm a big fan of like pictures through windows, especially with the nightlight or like water on the window. I just love, love shots like these. And I love the blue tone to everything. Okay, so that was the photo book and then we have our photo card I'm not sure if all of the backs are red but here is the back oh that is really pretty that is a really nice card so that is our first pull for Yuju and Miku has decided that she wants to be the center of attention so while I put this version back together and get out the blue version Please enjoy some aerial shots of Miku. Miku! Miku! Can you say hi? Hi! Okay, time to go. Oh, I know, I know. I know, I know. Okay, so we have the blue version of the album. Again, we have the slip cover. And then we have the photo book and the larger inclusions. So the version of this disc is blue. So we'll take out our larger items. So once again, we have the chessboard, this time in blue. And this is the image on the back of that one. Then we have the lyric booklet. So we have, okay, so it looks like it's the same concept pictures in this one. So yeah, same concept pictures in this one. We have the blue version of the dies, which does appear to be different than the previous. And then the two queens, the game pieces, which are different. Okay, so we will put these away. I 
I will find our photo card. This one is not in the front. Okay. So this is the cover of this photo book. So I haven't gotten to listen through the entire album yet. I think I've heard about half of it, but I do really like the title track. And then also, where is the track list again? So also, yes, this, oh no, this photo book is different. It just starts off the same. So we will go through it, okay. But yes, I haven't listened to the whole song. I actually really love the intro song. And I'm a big fan of play. I wish it maybe went a little bit harder towards the end. I just wish the last chorus had maybe a little bit more. But I do really, really enjoy it. But see, all these photos seem to be the same. Maybe they're just similar, and that's why I'm thinking they're the same. No, these are all totally the same. But see, here, we haven't seen this outfit before, I don't think. I don't remember these pictures. So the photo book is different. It's just not vastly different. Or am I gonna watch this and, okay, no, this definitely was not in the last one. Okay, so there seem, there do seem to be like some similar shots, but there is like, there are some different shots in this photo book that I don't remember from the last one. Like I don't remember these either. So that was the blue version. And then we do have a blue backed card. Oh, that one's so cute. All right, but back to what I've been trying to say. So yes, I love Bad Blood, the intro. And I haven't heard all of the killer but from the bits of it I have heard I really like it too but play is definitely my favorite off of the album itself so these were my pulls from the Yuju record or record unboxing I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video